we're back. Let's talk about fashion, shall we? These are my favorite clothing brands from small businesses or independent designers. And yes, I have glasses now. So from now on, you'll probably see me in glasses. And these are sleigh. Anyways, let's get into it. Start with clothing and then move on to accessories. First brand I have on my list is, I think it's pronounced you and me. You and it's me. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced it. Anyways, their tops are amazing. Basically, it's a top with multi-function, so you can drape it however you want to, which is, if you know me, I love that. And the colors and honestly, the whites and blacks, they're so, so, so beautiful. They have tops, but they also have dresses. And why wouldn't you want a piece that has multiple different options to it? It's basically a 10 in 1. I mean, come on. You get one piece, you pay for one piece, and you get a lot of options with that piece. So, is it worth the money? In my opinion, yes. Any piece that you can do multiple different stylings with, uh, anything that you can transform, is definitely uh, worth the money, in my opinion. It's just nice to have a piece that you can do everything with. And it just sits so... It just hugs your body in such a beautiful, beautiful way. I actually found this brand, I think it was on TikTok. And I love and hate TikTok, but it's a very good side and a very bad side when it comes to fashion. But the small brands are on the good side. Next we have Paralea Swim, a New York based brand, American. Uh, Paralea Swim, I got to know her, I don't know her, but that her designs uh, through Colin Diaz, which is a very famous uh, YouTuber here on YouTube. Uh, she, uh, Colleen really inspired me a lot when it, come, when it came to my style before and she introduced me to Paralea Swim. Her most recognized designs and it's the ones that she gets the most questions on. But she also have very different kind of pieces. So we have this... And I lost the words for it, but as you can see on the picture, this red and white set, it's very cute. It actually reminds me of a, a the lid of a jam jar. Like a, kind of like a tablecloth. Not in a bad way, it's actually very, very sweet. Um, very cute. And she also has this green knitted set that I actually think is inspired from. I saw something on Pinterest and it was some runway. It was a runway piece. It's pretty much identical. And we also have the knitted pieces from her, which is, in my opinion, the best. This knitted tube top and the matching skirt. Just a look at those colors. They are gorgeous. Perfect for summer, perfect summer piece. Another brand I actually found on TikTok, I saw a girl wearing this blue kind of mesh puffy sleeve Vietnamese style top and it was the most beautiful creation I ever seen. So I did some research and the brand is called Ding Tang. So it's a Vietnamese brand and they have very traditional pieces with a modern twist. It's very elegant, it's very demure, it's very classy, it's very mindful. Um, it's very ethereal. It's, it focuses a lot on flowy fabrics, uh, flowing with the body, all around beautiful, beautiful brand. And I love supporting my 
Asians. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Mummy? Mummy? Like, a mummified mummy? This brand has me in a chokehold when it comes to shapes because if there's something I really love, it's shapes, textures, um, silhouettes, volume. One of the reasons I love Isamiyaki's work. But this brand, I have no words. It is, they know how to play with volume in the right areas, and it's just watch. I have a basic t shirt and make a twist. A high neck, short sleeve, but it's crinkled. I don't know if that's the right word, and we all know that if something is crinkled, it would just hug your body in all the right places. I actually love this piece. It's so, 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 so beautiful. I really want it. Um, one shoulder, just volume in the right places, the draping, the asymmetry. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's just great all around. Fifth House Muse I found on Instagram again. The only thing I use Instagram for is to find small brands, to be honest, and to shop. Fifth House Muse was really... Again, they know how to play with structure, um, very beautiful pieces. Love this top. It's giving corporate with a modern twist. They will have a short sleeve top. Uh, especially if you can cinch the waist to give it more shape. Uh, I think it adds detail because sometimes you want to have shape, but you also have the option to just not use the strings and wear it as it is. And again, love versatility. You, It just makes sense to have pieces that are more versatile because a plain black top will always be a plain black top. And don't get me wrong, I don't think it's anything wrong with that. I just prefer pieces sometimes that it can be worn in multiple different ways. However, I will say, actually I take back what I just said, because your mind is the limit. Just look at button-down shirts, for example. You can wear them in multiple different ways, and that is awesome. I love that people use their uh, creativity and reimagine clothing items that they want to turn into something else. I've seen people turn into skirts, I've pe seen people wear them as different kind of tops, off shoulder, halter, all of these different things. And it's honestly very refreshing to see. It, I think it's genius, to be honest. It really cuts down on the overconsumption process that we all, <laughs> most of us are a part of. Definitely, I I had a big part in that uh, overconsumption. Uh, but I really try to shop more mindfully now. Anyways, we are spiraling out of the subject. We're looking for perfect summer pieces. Seventh and York is honestly I haven't tried myself but they look very very beautiful anything backless anything um <clears throat> flowy fabrics just that's just summer in my opinion I don't know what fabric they used in this dress but it just scratched my brain so good you can tell me this doesn't remind you <clears throat> of a pearl, like an oyster pearl. Other pieces which are very, has very very beautiful colors, such as this two piece set. I think this is, what is the fabric called? I totally forgot what the fabric or material is called. In my opinion it looks kind of wintry because it's thicker, but it's actually not thick, it's quite thin. And with the colors being very vibrant and strong, I think they're perfect for summer. 
especially in this tube top maxi skirt set. Very, very beautiful. For jewelry, you already know I love BP jewelry. I have two necklaces from them. Very happy with them. Very, very beautiful. The quality is amazing. I have nothing to complain about. Um, it's kind of a higher price scale, but I think it's worth it in my opinion compared to N route jewelry that is literally brass. And if you go to shop jewelry that isn't 24 K or 18 or 12 K uh, gold, definitely look at uh, stainless steel that's plated because it will last a really, really long time. Great statement pieces. I something so comforting about a fat ass piece of jewelry, like a fat ass ring. It just makes sense for some reason. Um, especially with a minimal, especially with a minimal outfit, adding a fat ass bracelet. You can't tell me that doesn't look good. BP has rings, uh, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, uh, body jewelry even, uh, which, by the way, eat. I haven't seen a design from her that I don't like, to be honest. And that is very, very uncommon, to be honest, because I'm very, very picky. But BP jewelry is amazing. Arcanum LA, which most of my um, necklaces are from. They are crystals. I'm a spiritual girly. I need my crystals to protect myself. So the ones I wear most often, pretty much every day, is malachite and hematite. I always get questions about those necklaces. They are beaded with a thick ass um, lock. Uh, very beautiful. It's a statement piece, but really casual in some way. Uh, very beautiful. No complaints whatsoever. Again, stainless steel. Um, yeah. It's two birds in one stone. Why wouldn't you love that? I think you pronounce this brand Selvon NYC. Kind of similar to BP Jewelry. Kind of same price range also. Uh, very beautiful. I haven't shopped from them, so I don't know how their quality is. But it says on the website, I think it's stainless steel and and I think stainless steel, steel and then plated, I will be fine with. Very beautiful statement pieces, fat ass jewelry, good statement pieces. But if you want more simple jewelry, I would actually recommend Pilgrim. <laughs> oh, my accent, that's horrible. Pilgrim jewelry. Uh, Pilgrim jewelry. I don't, I can't say it in English, it doesn't make sense. I think it's Danish. Um, I haven't tried it myself. I don't think I own anything from them. But they have, actually they have kind of bold jewelry, but it's very minimal. Hoops can be very chunky, but they're kind of skinny. So they're not as loud. Um, I don't know, I get my jewelry all over the place. Let me know if you want a jewelry tour from me, because I know I get a lot of questions on it. And maybe it will just be easier if I have a YouTube video and not three um, TikTok videos on it. I actually only have one accessory brand, Parallel X Studios. I actually found it on... I think I found it on Instagram. And I think I saw Julia Fox wear one of their bags and the bags the bag that she wore was so really unique. I also have more uh, useful bags, uh, easier to wear uh, because the round bag can be kind of impractical sometimes. So I really, really love this bag with uh, a lot of pockets and just a slouchy big bag. I thought it was a small handbag girly. 
I'm not. I wish I was, but I need a fat ass bag to fit all my stuff in. At least a medium sized bag. So this is great if you're like me and you need a bigger bag to just put all your stuff in. Hope you got some good recommendations and of course do your research before. Don't just trust what I say. I haven't tried all of these brands. So definitely do your research, look at the materials and learn before you shop. Um, is it actually something that you want to spend your money on? Is it the material you want? Um, you think it's, I think it's very important to look up all of these things before you shop and you shouldn't trust me and you shouldn't trust anyone. You should always do your own research and be critical because I think that is how we learn to shop and we learn to... I think that is how we learn to shop and I think that's how we learn to develop our own style.